For decades, an overpass on I-90 in North Idaho has been a literal bridge to nowhere. It was never open to drivers and has been unused for more than 50 years. But that's all about to change as our Environment Northwest team shows you the bridge will soon be welcoming a new kind of traffic. The Silver Valley is home to an abundant wide array of wildlife. It also has one of the busiest freeways in the entire region running right through it. And those two things don't always get along. We have big game, so deer, elk, moose, bears, mountain lions. Laura Wolf, I'm a regional wildlife biologist with Idaho Department of Fish and Game. Typically animals will cross along the road and often will get hit by vehicles. Wildlife crossings simply get animals from one side of the road to the other without crossing through traffic. In the two mile stretch on either side of this overpass, there were about 75 animals hit in the last 10 years. The stretch of road from the east side of Coeur d'Alene to the Montana border has the second highest density of roadkill anywhere along Interstate 90 stretching from Seattle to Boston. And luckily in the last 20 years, I spent a lot of time doing animal and aquatic conveyance. I'm Kirsten Voorhees. I am a civil engineer by degree. For my career, I do animal corridors mostly. I do bridge systems. Osborne, Idaho is Kirsten's backyard. But this old abandoned bridge, one day becoming a wildlife crossing, wasn't her idea. A local guy, a, one of the nicest guys you'd ever meet, who really had a dream and a vision, and he bugged people for a good decade. Carl Wilson was an avid outdoorsman and a member of the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation who worked hard to make this happen. To him, it seemed simple. Put this bridge that sat unused for more than five decades to good use. So the main thing is to put up funnel fencing. So that's typically eight foot fence that as they come towards the roadway, the fence just funnels them towards the either overpass or underpass, depending on what the, the structure is. That makes this crossing much cheaper than others in the region. For reference, the crossing over I-90 on Snoqualmie Pass costs about $6.2 million. And so it's, it's whatever it costs to purchase and implement fencing. That's basically the cost of this structure. And that right now is probably somewhere around four to 500,000. Money that comes from a grant through the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. The smallest one awarded because no major infrastructure changes are needed. Even the pavement on the bridge stays. It just takes one or two brave cow elk and the rest will go. A relatively easy solution to a dangerous problem, all thanks to one man's persistence. He said, I need you to promise me that you're going to finish this thing if I don't make it. Carl passed about a year ago, but his dream lives on. A dream that may lead to future crossings for the Silver Valley, helping to make the interstate a little safer for everyone. So we carry it through and we'll continue to carry it through no matter what it takes. For Environment Northwest, I'm meteorologist Jeremy Legue.